In today's video we have a PlayStation 4 controller on the workbench. This controller has two busted sticks on it. We're going to go ahead and take it apart and we're going to replace those and then we're going to adjust them if we need to. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is go ahead and remove all the screws off the back. It looks like there's only four screws, two on the top and two right down here. So now we need to separate the controller. Okay. Just going to work our way around. Okay, there's a little ribbon cable right here. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that. Set that to the side. I'm going to pull the battery. Okay, there's a little screw right here holding this black cradle piece in. And it just lifts up. Looks like another little ribbon cable right here. Looks like you just pull it out. Okay, got that one out. You got two little uh, clips right here on the side holding this circuit board on. So we're just going to go ahead and push those out. Okay, to make this a little easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and remove the wires for the rumble motors. Okay, now we can just set that aside. Alright, so what we got to do is we got to desolder these thumbsticks off here. I do have an Xbox video where I showed you how to do this with solder braid, but in this video I'm gonna just going to go ahead and remove it with my desoldering gun. If you want to see how I did that, I'll put the link in the description. So we're going to go ahead and put some flux on there.
It says what I'm doing is I'm pushing on the pins to see which ones are still stuck and which ones are free. That one, so that's the size so we don't get it confused with our new sticks. All right, same thing, we're gonna dump some flux on there. Got one pin here that's being stubborn. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to solder the new ones up. Some flux. So what I like to do is I'll go ahead and attach one of them. Then I'll kind of hold it and push down it with my thumb. That way I know it's seating flush. I'll just go ahead and go around.
Okay, looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and get the other one on. All right, so now one thing I will say is that when these controllers are new, these uh, thumbsticks are calibrated for this specific controller. Not, not, not more, more than one of these thumbsticks are gonna be exactly the same values on the up and down. So we might end up having to install some of these drift stick fix, which they have little tiny micro potentiometers on here, so we can manually adjust the resistance on each one of these joysticks so we can recalibrate it for this controller but I'm just going to go ahead and test it without it and see what we got and if it looks good we're just going to put it back together if not then we'll go ahead and install those uh, drift stick fixes okay so I did hook it up to my computer and these sticks are off center a little bit so we will have to manually calibrate these. So we will be installing these stick drift fixes. They're really easy to install. So the only connections you af actually have to make are these three right here and these three right here. The rest of them are just anchor points to help hold it down. So we're going to start with this side. Okay, let's go ahead and get the other one positioned. The cool thing about installing these on there is if the controllers ever come off center again, you can actually take it back apart and then you can recalibrate it. So is what you want to do is you want to take your screwdriver and you're going to apply it to each one of these pots here and you're going to adjust them until the stick goes to the center on the application to test your controller, which I'll have link in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this back up to my computer and that's what I'm going to do. 
Now you don't have to put the controller all the way back together as all you have to do is hook the USB cable back up. And then you can just plug it in right there and then you can test it without taking it back apart. That way you can go ahead and do your uh, adjustments. Alright, I'm going to switch back over to the computer. Okay, now we got the computer back up and we have got our controller testing app out. The two circles in the lower left hand corner represents our thumbsticks and we are going to try to manually adjust each potentiometer to get that dot in the center of the X. I am currently working on the right thumbstick and working on the up and down. Okay, now I've started working on the left and right. You're just going to keep making small adjustments and checking as you go. Okay, now we are moving on to the left thumbstick. Just like the other side, we're going to make a bunch of small adjustments until we get it centered. Now I'm simply checking to make sure the thumbsticks are working properly and returning back to zero. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, now we've got the controller properly adjusted. Now we're just going to put it back together. One thing that you might want to do before you put it back together is swab this connector right here with some isopropic alcohol. And then also too on the uh, PCB where it's got to make its connections. You're going to push it down into the little uh, snaps over here, the little clips snap in. And we're going to put our little ribbon cable back on there. Okay, so we need to hook our wires back up for our motors. Okay, for, the, for this side, the positive wire is going to be up top. The negative on the bottom. And for the other side, it's going to be the exact opposite. And put this little piece back on. I'm going to put the screw in the center. Make sure our buttons are clicking. We don't got something jammed up. Okay, looks good. Put the battery back in. Reattach the USB ribbon cable. And 
and reinstall the four screws. Okay, we got our controller back together. Our thumbsticks are calibrated and in working order. You can use these same techniques on multiple different types of controllers, including Xbox controllers. The parts and thumbsticks will change from controller to controller, but the techniques will remain the same. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.